Oh, bro. I wanted you to go check out the town of Overlook. See if you can help the people there or whatever. Them folks been cooped up in their houses ever since they got the shivers. Dollars to donuts that could use your help. Hello. Given the skill with which you dispatch those r robots, we of the town of Overlook thought you might give us a hand, so to speak. So, first item on the agenda, we're all dying of a brain disease. If you could get us three shipments of medication, we would live, which uh, would allow me to keep paying you. Our m medicine machine needs a new battery. Please climb the clock tower ladder and remove the clock's battery. A note to all Hyperion custodial bots. Please shut down the grinder before attempting to clean its gears. machine and buy some skull shiver medication P please thank you but we need two more medicine shipments the next is carried by a traveling hyperion requisition officer wandering the highlands get the medicine from him without his guards i'm sure the salesman will give you a good price for his medicine i suggest killing them politely if possible shipment was being delivered by boat, but we lost contact. Find it, please. Catch you later.
I've got all the medicine. Efficient. Very efficient. Now please d d distribute that medicine around town. I'd do it myself, but Hyperion doesn't doesn't like it when we leave our homes. I'll patch you up whenever you Appreciate it. <coughs> Screw you! You can bring me medicine all day! It don't make you less of a skag sucker! Sorry about Dave. He's a... Uh... We try not to talk to him. Return to me for your agreed upon reward. If I had ten people like you, this town would be running like clockwork. To remind you now that, that our brains aren't going to rot worse. from the inside, let's move on to point two on my agenda. Revolt. If we are to shake off Hyperion control, the town will need a shield like sanctuaries to protect it from moonshot blitzes. If you could donate some shields to the town, I could scavenge them and build us a shield. Just drop whatever shields you no longer want into the grinder. Appreciated, David. like your help testing it. Head to the Hyperion outpost near by and get to the mortar cannon on the launch pad. Hey, Karima. 
Know what's even better than having a working shield? Not being a woman! <laughs> oh my god, shut up, Dave! In a fit of extreme paranoia, I hid my notes on the opening of the vault and promptly forgot their locations. While I grind my teeth to dust and frustration, you... you retrieve these journals for me. to die. Roland forcibly relocated me to Sanctuary for what he claimed was my safety, but the slackjaws who populate this city make my flesh scream. A young woman said hello to me today. I stared back at her, my mind screeching as I looked for a way to escape this unwanted interaction. As my face grew red with nauseous stress, a blood vessel popped in my nose and a jet of crimson shot out of my nostrils, splattering us both with blood. She screamed and ran away. As pleased as I was at the time, causing copies of blood to shoot from my face would not be a viable long-term strategy for the next conversation. The same question 
Things occurred to me today as I was pinning a disemboweled skag to my front door to dissuade others from approaching it. What does that work with the bolt key? It was the key simply charging the entire time I possessed it before Jack crowbarred it from my bloody hands? Was it waiting to unleash its alien powers on Pandora to make Iridium appear from the very ground? Was it preparing itself to unlock even more alien ruins? I will delve deeper into this question after I soundproof the walls of my home, that I may be spared the incessant laughter and joviality of Sanctuary citizens. An old boyfriend of mine, name of Taggart, was hired to wipe out the stalker population a while back. He also, adorably, tried to write a book about his adventures in the Highlands. You find the chapters of his book, and I'll plagiarize the living daylights out of them for mine. Win, 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 as they say. Nobody says that. I say it. Chapter 1. Today, I punched a stalker so hard it turned inside out. End of Chapter 1. It is a known fact that stalkers find echo recorders delicious. You'll likely find the rest of Taggart's chapters within piles of stalker... defecation.
out. The shield works. Overlook is safe and no Dave. This is truly a happy day. Return to me at your earliest convenience.
I have uncovered legends of an ancient alien warrior. The legends tell of a magical key that can bring it back to life. If my hypotheses are correct, which they always are, the legends may be speaking of the vault key. Also, a young man told me I was pretty on my way back from the grocers. My reaction was surprisingly tame. I only spent the next three hours dry heaving into a bucket. Yesterday, I had a conversation with another human being. Granted, it was only a conversation in as much as my grunts of social terror could be taken as human speech, but Roland did not seem to mind. He asked me why Jack hasn't revived the warrior yet if he has the key. I conveyed that the key needed to be charged by Iridium, hence Jack's mining operations. He nodded and silently wiped the streams of my saliva from his face. I returned home, confused not only at his lack of disgust toward my behavior, but my lack of disgust toward him. For the first time, I felt as if I could actually live in Sanctuary. For the first time, I, I feel as if I might be okay.
Chapter 2. Jack wasn't kidding. These stalker things are something. I pounded with Chapter 3. My boys found out the stalkers don't cloak so well once their shields are down. They get all panicky, start roaring to power up their friends. It's cute. I saw a huge stalker staring at our camp the other day. I had decided to name her Henry, you know, after a... Oh, hold on a second. Hey, Mom! No, I was just saying I named a stalker after you. Once again, inched out Jackville for fewest weekly curfew violations. For the next week, the grinder will only be used for egregious felonies, like littering or profanity. Eaten, was he? <laughs> Suppose there's a lesson to be learned in all of this. He who attempts to fight nature will get 
eaten. Sounded much more poignant in my head. Apologies. You know my favorite thing about Dave? He's dead. Hyperion is proud to announce the size of your bi-yearly medicine shipment has doubled. Congratulations on your second bottle of aspirin. Around here. Ah, a new recruit! Welcome to the Zafford family! You didn't see the bastard who destroyed my distillery, did ya? Let me get you a drink. It's dry! Those hodons destroyed my distillery! That's it! The truth is off! You, Vault Hunter, let's talk! You gonna help me get them hodong bastards? Good. If there's anything they love more than getting to second base with their sisters, it's cars. I want you to get out there and ruin their race. Come into me basement. You picked the right family in this war, Boyle. Ages back, one of the Hodungs drowned a few Zafford boys in the creek bed. After an ex-Hodung killed me boy Lucky a few years back, we made a truce. But after what happened to our distillery, it sounds like the war's back on. Machines will fix that for you. There we are. Now get out of the dust. I'll be up at the bar if you need me. Lock and load. Show me some. 
some green arrows. These races every so often. I want you to place them charges on the fireworks they leave around the track. When they set off the fireworks, it'll make for some proper violence. Prepare! 
garage and we'll see if we can't help those hoedunks get some revenge for their messed up racetrack. the two clans, you're gonna be the last man standing with a fistful of dollars! Yo, Timbo. This is a plan Squad Echo requesting strong, loyal soldiers who don't ask too many questions. Help the Hodo family defeat the Zephyr Cousins! Green Zappers. You're gonna clean out their cash stash for us. We got a dead drop out in the highlands with all the details. Go get it!
This Zafford's got a secret cash stash around here, but we ain't sure where. The bagman leaves the Zafford bar every so often. Pa wants you to tail him to the stash, then rob the place. But don't get too close to him. But don't get too close. Bloody hold-ons been trying to kill us for years. Kept saying that scooter fella who killed Lucky ain't part of their family anymore. But we know the real truth, don't we, voice in me head? Ha! Good joke, voice in me head. You always know just what to say. <laughs> Am I being followed? Nah, impossible. Just a few more years of making these trips to the cash dash and maybe Pop will finally love me. I'm a much better son than Lucky. I'm sprightly, I'm more talkative, and I wasn't buried alive in a shallow grave. One of my best qualities, that is. I agree, voice in me head. Nearly to the cash dash now. I can't wait to get inside and not be ambushed. That's my favorite part of these trips, really. Not getting followed and ambushed. Is anybody there? Hmm. Suppose not.
Mortality, Schmortality. I'm telling you, boss, and I don't know if you think about it, because you can come in now and now my time. But if I can come in here with a dog, I'll be in I got another job for you, Boyle. Meet with my man out in the dust. He'll give you the details.
boy Peter to a cash stash, and then they murdered him like an animal. Never hurt a soul, he didn't. There's only one thing to do. Burning trailers to the ground. Do it after sundown. I want to see their flaming homes burning against the midnight sky. Get going. back and ex Hodon killed my son Lucky. We're holding our annual wake for him soon. I'd be proud to have you there. His efforts have gone too far. We need a killer and we need him now! Get away from the caravan!
Those adverts burned our homes to the ground. You're gonna crash their annual wake for their dead boy. Look. These adverts won't let you into the wake if you're sober, though. There's a bar in the sanctuary run by a traitor we hodunks don't talk about. Go there now and get wasted. Thanks, Sugar. I've been meaning to upload these to the Echo Net. I don't have any work, but that doesn't mean you can't stay. Scientifically, murdering old Slappy was probably a bad idea. Vengeance is to click. If I ever do my whole man as the real monster speech for you, comes to mind. There is a time when I'd be out there on the front lines, fighting Jack's troops alongside you. Of course, that was four kids and God knows how many husbands ago. My reflexes aren't exactly what they used to be. Jack's not coming in here. Ha! Can you feel that? Spending all that money on little old me? Ah. I'm flattered. Yes, it may be stinky, but it's home. No new jobs. Shame. I love to watch you work. Careful, sugar. That's strong stuff. Keep plugging that booze. Zafford's won't let you into the bar unless you're so drunk that Annie looks like she's got Moxie's curves. <laughs> right. Sorry, Paul. You know, we don't talk about those heathens while I left the clan. My mistake. Come on in. The wake's just stopped. Take your time. Find a good spot to start the shooting and kill them all. We are here today to celebrate the life of Lucky Slavine's offer. Lucky was a good man. Kind of heart and noble of spirit. Lucky brought joy into the lives of everyone. It's metal death! Was Myth not there? Ah, the freak 
was probably out getting more booze. Ah, well. Come on back. Pool Crash is awake! That's it, Ho-Dunk! No more messing around! A f sound angry. Haul your sweet ass back to my junkyard and we'll see about ending this war. an end to all this clan fighting. Stare all you like. Sounds like the Zaffords and the Hodunks are raring for a final showdown, and you get to choose who wins. Get out there before the fighting starts. You don't want to miss the fun. Boy, oh, we're finally going to finish off these Hodunks for good. Come meet us by the Lynchwood train station. Hey, buddy, we got the Zaffords in our crosshairs out by the Lynchwood train station. Come meet us. We can end this plan. Only one gang is gonna survive this. Your choice says to who. Once the shooting starts, just blast away at whichever side annoys you the most. And be careful, once the fight started, you can't leave until one of the families is dead. Soldier, here to help me wipe out these rednecks, are ya? The hell do you mean, your soldier? They's with us! They weren't covered fighting these. We ain't sitting for more Zaffer's lies. Time to end this! Enough of this! Shoot him! You've done a good thing today, mate. This here's a family heirloom. Use it well.
listened to my notes, I assume. I hid the copious material I compiled after opening the vault those five long years ago. In a fit of spastic paranoia, I did not write down the locations to the information. Find it for me, and be handsomely... Oh, were you expecting me to say handsomely rewarded? I've been relocated to Sanctuary, against everyone's better judgment. Not my own, mind you. I never wanted to be here. I was perfectly content to live out my days in a non-standard living arrangement with two ceiling chairs I met at a bar fight. Oh, they're adorable. They barely speak any English. And if you have to ask what a ceiling chair is, I pity the life you've wasted. I should discuss the scroll offense in the room. The reason for my relocation was an elongated and systematically unpleasant torture at the hands of Jack's cronies. Roland and his well-defined pectoral muscles were kind enough to entrust the vault key with me after the awakening of the Destroyer. Not to be confused with the Warrior. Seriously, those sound nothing alike. Thanks again, man! Freaking rats, man! I was this close to finding out what second base feels like! And also what second base is! Torture. I asked nicely on several occasions to take proper precautions against bacteria on the instruments, but it fell upon idiotic ears. As they cut into my flesh over and over, I would fade in and out of consciousness Why did I bring and whisper to the ceiling chairs that it was going to be okay. I've beaten both already. Clark was afraid at first. His four legs trembled against the cold ceiling, but he knew he had to be strong for me. Then they went to work on his brother, Philippe. Philippe. I, I just... Philippe was so brave. He was so brave for me when the rotary saws began to ply his legs from his body. Clark cried out for his brother, even when one of the torturers inadvertently sat on him and muffled his cries. The last thing Philippe said before he passed on to the great wooden beyond was... I love you, Patty. I love you. And then he was gone. <sighs> it's lonely here in Sanctuary. Sure, Clork prattles around on the ceiling, but it's hardly the same. Jack has taken so much from me. Jack has taken the only happiness I've ever had in his asinine quest for the warrior and more power. Revenge is as pointless as music, but on this occasion, I will allow myself the revenge. I will allow myself to aid in his downfall. Mark my words, Jack. You're going to die. Ah! The chronicles of my torture. I shall warm up some cold cocoa and listen to these again. Jerkwad! Take it and go! This never happened.
check back later to see my... New weapon of the day.